I've been working on this new project and I wanted to show you a little problem that I ran to when I was using Tailwind. So this is an app I'm creating. I'm gonna create this for a future video. It's using Cloudinary, it's pretty awesome, but you can click on any single picture and then you can do all sorts of transformations to the picture itself. And as I was creating this, I created a new route called Edit. I don't know, tell me if you guys have ever run into this problem. You're inside a, an app that uses Tailwind and it has several classes here. And of course, Tailwind uses utility classes. So your HTML kind of looks like this after a while. We have all this different flex, flex column, item center, text 3XL. It kind of goes on forever too. Like some of these lines get really, really long. And you could probably say that this HTML looks a little ugly. Now I come from the background of trying to make everything dry. And if you don't know what that is, that's don't repeat yourself. And there's the kind of the opposite of that, which is wet, which is write everything twice. And when I look at this tailwind, especially all these utility classes everywhere, I see some patterns emerge. For example, if I come all the way down here to where my buttons are, I have the exact same looking buttons. They're all this kind of yellow with white background, rounded. You can see your BG yellow 400 text white. You can imagine if I put a little bit more effort in, I add some hover states. There'll be a whole bunch of other things here. Also added a little padding to it, but I'm repeating this self. Look here, one, two, three places in the app itself. And I was thinking, well, if I want to follow this dry principle and don't repeat myself, I probably should look at these classes and maybe add them into one class itself and then use that everywhere. So for that reason, I decided to uh, do that. So let's see, how would I do that for this app? And if I go into my Tailwind CSS file, uh, it should be pretty easy. I can just make something called dot button. And Tailwind has a few ways to do this. There's this new concept called layers, but I just like using called something called apply. So I just do at apply here. And then I come back and I just copy and paste these four different classes and I'll save it. And now instead of having let's say in this one, it says grayscale, I can just put button BTN as a normal class. And if I refresh it, it still looks the same. All these buttons look perfectly great. And I can just go in and do a refactor on all three of these, make so it, so I have a little less HTML to deal with, HTML and CSS that is. And it looks exactly the same. And then I was thinking after I had done that refactor, and refactored all this out to its own singular class. I was thinking, well, I have a lot of other things in here, a lot of other utility classes that are repeated over and over again. So one example you might see is during every single section I have in my app or inside this component here, I'm doing flex, flex column, item center with full. So I was thinking, okay, I could take these four utility classes do the same thing and create my own, I don't know, section section container class. And of course I have to think of a new class name every time I do this. And then I can kind of clean this up so it looks a lot more cleaner. And then I realized as I started doing this refactor that this could go on forever. I could easily take every single utility class in here and then make my own classes and then just keep layering that on with other classes. And after a while, I figured that what benefit am I getting from Tailwind from doing all this? And as you can imagine, I'm probably not getting any utility because after a while, what's the purpose of using these utility classes if I'm gonna create my own classes? So then the utility part of Tailwind starts breaking down, as you can imagine, and I'm not saving as much time as I did before. So I was thinking of this problem and I was thinking about, well, what's the best way of fixing this? And so I looked at the official documentation. What does Adam Wathen, the creator of Tailwind, say I should do in this situation when I'm looking at my HTML and I have all these utility classes everywhere and they're all being repeated? And to my surprise, Adam actually has a pretty good article about doing this, and he's talked about this for quite a while. You probably want to use a few different features to, to of your editor and a few other things before you start applying this at apply. So for example, if you're using an editor, you could probably use something like multi-cursor. You can see here that you can easily use multi-cursor. I'm using Visual Studio Code with the Vim plugin, but if I like to, I can probably select multiple different lines and make changes at the same time. He also mentions using loops. 
and loops can definitely work. Let's say you have the same line repeated four times. I have multiple sections. I could definitely think of putting this in a loop. He also mentions maybe extracting components into each interval of parts into components, or if your programming or framework or library supports it using partials. So really at the end of the day though, he does not recommend to use this at apply, maybe just for very basic things like maybe buttons or simple forms, but don't try to refactor your whole application once you take a look at your components and all these utility classes, because then you kind of really, you stop losing the benefit of Tailwind. And he explains it right here. Essentially, you have to think up all the class names all the time. You have to jump between multiple files to make changes. Uh, changing styles is definitely scarier when you're using kind of global CSS and, and as with normal classes, you can accidentally break something and your CSS bundle will be bigger. So I was thinking about this problem here. Instead of trying to using all these, you all these ad applies and trying to make my own classes, I think what the best bet for me is to really split, which this file is already really long, is to split these into multiple components and then see if I can reuse some of these components. So for example, this opacity slider, font size slider, and blur slider, they all have the kind of same look and feel, and I could easily try to recreate these into multiple components. It's probably okay that I did it with this button here, but I probably don't want to use this at apply any longer. Maybe if I find a very specific use case for a form, I would do it. But in this case, I think the best bet is just to break these into several different components and have all the code encapsulated in there and then reuse something like the slider component. And then I can use it in three different places here. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do with this app. I thought this was kind of an interesting example of how we're always taught, especially in, as software developers, that you never wanna repeat yourself. You always wanna create functions and classes and components. So you don't have to keep recreating the, the same thing over and over again. In this case, you should really listen to what Adam says and not try to use at applies everywhere and try to create all these classes. And it's okay to have repeated classes in the same component in multiple places, especially with Tailwind, that totally makes sense. And your HTML doesn't have to be beautiful. It can look like this and that's fine. Let me know your thoughts. If you have ever run into this problem, what have you done? I'd really like to hear about it. And if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you click that like button at the bottom. That really helps. And I'll just give a little shout out. If you want more in-depth help for software development, Vue.js, React, Angular, or just need someone to look through your project, I do one-on-one -on -one mentoring. It's really a fun thing that I'd love to do. I put a link in the description so you can where you can sign up. You can also sign up for my mailing list. But yeah, check out my mentoring. Love to talk to new people and help them out. Thanks.